गंधारिका गिरिधारी सृष्टि हरिदे चक्षुन मिलित जैन तस्म श्री गुर वंशाकुभ कृपा सिंधु पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णव नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य गौरक्ति गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय भक्तिया विहीना पराधल कामादितरंग मध्य कृपा मयि तं शरण प्रपन्ना बृंदे नमस्ते चरण तवैवास्मी तवैवास्मी न जीवा तया विना राधे फ्रॉम दिल्ली एंड कलकत्ता फ्रॉम मथुरा फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर दिस प्लेसेस सो मेनी डिवोटीज आर हैंकरिंग that you are today far away from us they are weeping i told that i am also with you there don't weep my heartly blessing for you here also new new good devotees like uh, gandharva gandharva you know Singers. singers and very beautiful ladies of goddesses. Yeah, they, uh, they are coming from heaven or all other places here. All the good devotees like goddesses, <coughs> demigods, they are coming here, joining our classes, and they are so inspired. that it may be that in next they can in future they will go to vrindavan and know the dham and then you can see how good devotees are here i am not thinking that i am in so far away from india always saying that i am in vrindavan with you all hmm. so <coughs> <coughs> the today is auspicious not today only all the days are auspicious when we chant uh, remember and meditate gaur nityanand prabhu or krishna or shrimati radhika or vrindavan or navdeep dham <coughs> i am remembering a day with my gurudev when he was in preaching tour and we very four or five were with him pujapad bamun maharaj my elder god brother and some myself and two other more we disciple were with him we are were touring in uh, east in south bengal on foot walking more than 10 miles here and there 
कलेक्टिंग सम राइस फॉर नवदीप धाम परिक्रमा आई थिंक दैट मोर देन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड प्लेग्रम्स इज यूज टू कम इन और नवदीप धाम परिक्रमा एट द टाइम ऑफ गौर पूर्णिमा नाउ इट इज कमिंग आई विल फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट फ्रॉम माई टूर आई विल गो टू नवदीप धाम सो वी वी आर कलेक्टिंग सम डोनेशन ऑफ राइस and person he used to give so much happily <coughs> when we were going <coughs> then the minister of bengal with hundreds persons officers and all other was also touring in that place he met at once in way and he called he told our guru ji that why you are coming here he told that we are coming to preach hari krishna hari krishna oh you are not seeing that this area is badly flooded flooded full of blood flood water everything they have lost their houses and <coughs> their rice is everything their rice field has been ruined by flood why you are not helping them and you are coming to preach hare krishna naam and to collect some rice from here you should collect rice from all other parts and Give help them at once gurudev told him that very flawed that is flawed you are not seeing no no i am not seeing we are flawed hmm? i all has been drowned in flood he told that i am seeing that cigarettes of your mouth all taking cigarette it has not been yes. huh? <laughs> then where is flood flood you are telling if the water of the flood has not touched touch the cigarette cigarettes fires and cigarettes fire is not extinguished extinguished then where is flood i am not seeing <laughs> but i see there is a very flood where there is no kirtan you cannot help these men by rice they want to love affection and they need krishna consciousness you cannot make them again flood will come but it will not touch your body and cigarettes fire so give up all these things and then come to help them we are helping them you cannot help like us i realized the mercy of gurudev and he preached over a month or two there everywhere and all were inspired none was going to see prime minister that minister <laughs> indian minister but all gathering about 10000 Ten thousand, twenty thousand in a place to hear our Guru Dev. So I saw there, <coughs> and they collected so many rice, one kilo, two kilo, you know, very little, little. But it became more than hundred, hundred uh, months, hectare or what? Forty kilos. Forty kilos. Forty kilos. More than that. In a village. Two hundred villages it become, and they told that uh, no, Swami Ji, we will not hear this minister because I will go, we will go there, and we will take Mahaprasadam from this rice. You are, we are not giving to you or anyone. We are giving to Krishna and to help us. Hmm? Guru Dev told that 
those who are giving one grain, grain of rice for this purpose, you will never starve. Lakshmi may. She can go to road and beg, beg here and there, but you will not, never, 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 never. So I thought, saw that how great and how strong was our Gurudev. So I know that all the devotees, all the uh, Shishya, disciples of Srila Prabhupada Jagat Guru, Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Parshishan Bhakti Siddhan Sarswati Goswami Thakur, was so learned, a scholar, so bold, so strong, that one of them can immerse whole world in their Krishna frame. Jane Jane Shakti Dhare Brahmanda Tarite. He is one of the Shishya. He was not so well known in India. Never anyone know, knew him, Swamiji. Hmm? Anyone? He has no good gatherings in India. Only one, two persons. But when he came here, he was exalted. And he drowned the whole world. In a few years, a slap place so much mud here and there. He made hippies happy. <laughs> he made those who were in jungles and forests. Hmm? Hmm? He also made Shishya from South Africa, he, black persons, so many things. Like they were wild like here. Yeah. And all they became so high class of devotees. So, all these disciples of Srila Prabhupada were so qualified. Once, I know, a sannyasi of Shishya, disciple of Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta, his name was Aranya Maharaj, first Aranya Maharaj. Hmm? I have seen him. He was quite illiterate, like Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj. Knowing nothing to write A, B, C, D, or Ka, Kha, Ga, Gha, anything. But he remembered all these sloks which Prabhupada used to use everywhere. And very, very high class of a standard of Beng Beng Bengali. Adva Gyan Parthatva, you know, like this he used to. And thousands of persons used to come to hear him. Once he became, he went in East Bengal, where there were so many learned persons, so scholars in Ved, Upanishad, Smriti, you know, Manushmriti and all other things. So learned. And they used to speak in Sanskrit language, hmm? having so big, big turbans like this. <laughs> hmm? Big, big turbans. They are called Pancharatna, Nyaya Ratna, Bhattacharya, Kabbatirtha. <laughs> so many Upadhi, Upadhi you know? They have read to Benaras University, some of Mithila, some of Kanjivaram in Deccan. So all were there. He was preaching that anyone who is chanting Hari name and he is initiated by any authentic qualified guru. Hmm? What qualified? No, no chance of falling down in any worth. Qualified in all scriptures, have some realization of Krishna. And he is detached with worldly affairs. 
no lust, no anger, nothing. He has no sufferings and sorrow. Suffering and sorrow cannot touch them because they don't require any worldly things. So he was preaching that if anyone takes initiation, whether he is Muslim, low cost, out of Indian cost, Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, even he may be Bauddha, he may be of European countries, even Eastern countries, even they are taking, were taking flesh, eggs and cow whiffs. And if they are taking Harinam, taking initiation from bona fide Guru, he is more than Brahmin. He is qualified. In last birth, he has done all these things, Brahmins he has, he was before. He has done all kinds of austerities. He has all kinds of qualities, a Brahmins and all, all devotees. So now he has some respect, taste in Harina. So they are more than Brahmins. They can be given sacred threads, no harm. They can now do anything. They can worship Radha, Krishna, Shalak, Gram, Giraj, Govardhan. They are authorized. They were opposing all. They opposed. It cannot be. <laughs> By birth, anyone is Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra, or these things. Those who are taken at one time, any flesh or all these things, eggs, meat. And those who are not hereditary Brahmin, we don't recognize them as Brahmin. Sudra will be Sudra and all the, in which they have taken birth. They began to uh, oppose Maharaj. Then he told that I'm challenging you all to come next day, same place. And if I not agree, then it may be that after two or three day, days after, give a date and ready to discuss all these things. They are also challenged. And the date was fixed after two days. So many learned persons from Benares in your city and all other famous in his cities, big, big pandit, came towards him to discuss all these things. He was alone, only five or six brahmacharis. He never called Srila Prabhupada or anyone. He was so bold and strong. He told any Brahmachari, I know that Brahmachari now, he was, after that, he became sannyasi, and after that he has left his body. He told to that Brahmachari, Oh, Brichandra Brahmachari, come on. Bring, bring some bricks. bricks, new bricks. What will you do? He threatened, don't ask question, obey me. <laughs> he bring about 20 to 25 or 50 bricks. Bring new papers <coughs> and roll. <coughs> Rapidly. And write on the cover, Rigvaved, Jajurved, Atharvaved, Shambhaved, 
तैतरीय छांदोग्य उपनिषद श्वेतास्तर उपनिषद मनुस्मृति श्रीमद भागवतम एंड ऑल हिमेड सो फिफ्टी ब्रिक्स वेर रेडी फॉर ऑल दीज थिंग्स राइटिंग Keep it in a very big card, bullock card, and they were given in the bullock card. And he took so big pagri, like this, no, very big pagri. <laughs> and he told that follow me. Bullocks were given in them, and the bullock card was dragged to follow to that. असेंबली हाउस वेर ऑल वेर असेंबल बिग बिग वन अबाउट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड अ पर्सन वेर गैदर्ड देयर टू सी व्हाट इज बिकमिंग एंड गो वेरी बिग डिस्कशन इन बी सी हिट ऑल दैट इन माई साइड देर शुड बी अरेंज ऑल दी बुक्स ऑल वेर रीडिंग ही डोंट नॉट टू रीड Who is what is Rig Ved? What is anything, actually? Oh, let's see. All books were <coughs> not books, but bricks were arranged like Vedas. <coughs> he challenged him. He became stand, stood up, and told, "I'm challenging you. If you dare to come and discuss with me, <coughs> but you will have to tell." You see, you are seeing here is Rig Ved, Sam Ved, Jadur Ved, Athar Ved, and all the F S Manusmriti, Mahabhagavat, Ramayan, Puran, all are here. You will have to give reference, and you will have to show me. <laughs> Otherwise, I will show. <laughs> I will give the reference. You can see here. They <coughs> saw. <coughs> oh, he is a very great learner person. <laughs> And he challenging, and he has collected all the books here. We have not seen Sam Ved, but we have heard that there is a Sam Ved, Rig Ved, Athur Ved, Jadur Ved. We have never seen. <laughs> but he has collected all the books here. So become fearful, and they flying. one by one, flying, 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 flying. <laughs> all pandits and learned persons, <coughs> and he. Again, discussed all these things. Hmm? He told <coughs> the slokes of Bhagavat Manusmriti, Vedanta Upanishad, <coughs> that those who are chanting Krishna name, they are more learned than any person who knows Samvid Rig Ved Jadur Ved, because if with Samvid or Jadur Ved are telling that a son of doctor will not may not wish. Doctor, a doctor's son, <coughs> if he is reading engineering, engineering, he cannot tell that I am a doctor. So Simad Bhagwat is telling that just sir, yeah, just sir, just lakhanam punso barna bhi benja kam jada na pi drishyate tatte nae vabe nirdeshi. चतुर वर्णम मया श्रेष्ठम गुण कर्म विभाग से प्रमाण प्रमाण मीन्स एज ए प्रूफ नन वॉज टू आर्ग्यू एंड ही ऑन दैट थिंग ऑन दी Council, ex party, and all were clapping, and all were so much. In Bengal and India, it was very hard to preach at first. Hmm. Brahman and Pujari of Brindavan, Pujari of Navadip, they are not allowing the associates and. Disciples of Sri Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati to enter any temple because he was the follower of that principle that anyone 
in any world, anywhere, any person, so degraded. But if he takes initiation from bona fide Guru, he becomes more than Brahmin. And he can do all the <coughs> things which a Brahmin can do. Those who are not knowing Brahmin, Brahma Tattva, what is Brahma Tattva? Krishna Tattva, Bhakti Tattva, Jiva Tattva, Prima Bhakti Tattva, all the avatars, <coughs> what is soul, what is illusory maya, why we are coming in illusory maya, we are not this body, those who knows all these things. Actually he is Brahmin. Hmm? But even knowing all these things, all epics and all other things, if anyone not chanting Hari name, he has no devotional services. Even he may be son of a very learned Brahmin, he is not Brahmin. He is not qualified. He will have to go to hell. But those who are in lower, lower costs, eh? those who are out of caste and creed and anyone, but chanting, remembering. Krishna takes everything from their hands, otherwise not he. He cannot take anything from Brahmins who are not a, um, have any devotional service, nor chanting, no belief in Krishna, in God. You know Raman, Kumbhakaran, they were sons of Brahmins, learned persons. They were rejected. Kans also a Kshatriya, but he is called Daemon. <coughs> Ramchandra went to South India and very low cost lady, old Shabari named. He gave his own remnant, eh? remnant. remnant to Ram and Ram took it. You know Krishna? Wherever he went, if anyone chanting Krishna, remembering Krishna, no cost and grit. He used to become in Achyut Gotra. You know Achyut Gotra? The Gotra of Krishna. The cost of Krishna. The creed of Krishna. Hmm? That is why, wherever we go, if there are disciples, um, devotees, having faith in Krishna and chanting and remembering Krishna, we take their cookings. We can offer to deities. Hmm? But even today, Indian learned persons of Veda Upanishad, if they are initiating to any person, but if he is not Brahmin, he will they will not take a water also Just even. Passed by them. So Srila <laughs> Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati. He sent so many disciples to Western countries also. So many persons came, but Param Pujyapad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, taking sannyas from our Gurudev Nitya Lila Pravishta Ong Vishnu Parsishun Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj, he came to Western countries. And as a magic, he preached all over the world. Now I am, we are seeing that those who are here, also they are, anyhow they were connected with Swamiji. They, they are inspired by reading his books, by his uh, devotees. He preached our whole world very soon. With Nagar Sankirtan, Bhakti Binod Thakur, Namhat Sankirtan, and thus 
in whole world devotion are going on. So if you want to do Guru Seva, this is essential to obey him and to help others that they should be changed by the heart, not only changing food and all other things. They should be changed in all ways. Their hearts should be changed from material Russia to transcendental, transcendental bhakti rush, prema rush. This is most <coughs> high class of guru service. Guru wants this. He does not want that. Oh, my disciples should come and message me and cook for me. Only do for me. Don't go to any boys now. He will tell that you can <coughs> serve any good boys now. You can yes you see. If you are not associating with any qualified Vaishnava, more revealed than you, you cannot progress. And that is why I see that where Maha Swamiji went, his disciple went, they inspired and so many disciples came. But after that they left all and they were dried. No? So I want that you should always be in good association. Create good associations yourself. For this you will have to give up your mean-minded, be broad-minded. You should always those who are chanting, remembering, all are in our Gauru Parivar, Krishna Parivar, Krishna family, Gauru family. Hmm? Try to honor all who are even not taken initiation but chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. We should honor. Hmm? Don't think that, oh, he is in that group, Sridhar Maharaj group. Oh, he is in his own group. He is in Maharaj group. Hmm? Don't. Don't be sectarian. Don't be sectarian. Hmm? Try to chant yourself also. Remember and serve Krishna and Radha and Mahaprabhu and try to help them also to become bona fide Vaishnava. This is our duty. Hmm? I want to pray. I want to suggest, give suggestion to my God brothers, I think they are my God brothers, the disciples of Swamiji, that they can glorify Guru Tattva. Why? Prabhu, what name? Urukam Prabhu. Urukam Prabhu may stand and glorify him. Also, I think that uh, who is senior? No heart. After he. Guru Bandha uh, Prabhu Bal. Tell any remembrance of his Gurudev and how he preached so quickly and how we should serve Gurudev and the glories of Gurudev from epics or anywhere you can tell. <coughs> if you want, you can come here. <coughs> This, I will not speak now, I will speak after 25 hours. Balde Prabhu Arnitanandhu takes it and offer it to the lotus feet of Krishna. So all the Gurus bona fide, I am not telling so called Gurus, who one day they are thinking that we are bona fide guru and next day they are falling. Mm. 
I think they are were fallen and even they are fallen. Hmm. So Guru Bhakti, to serve the service of Guru Dev, backbone of Bhakti. Without this, we cannot enter in Bhakti realm. So he told about this very good. Now I am requesting a devotee of Swamiji Bhaktivedanta Swami, very senior and sincere devotee. His name is Gopabindapal. <coughs> from distance, I think from seventy-two. He is serving. He was serving his Guru Dev. In so many ways, he is also like a scholar and very qualified Vaishnav. So I am requesting him to go live fine, Guru Dev. And if any remembrance of his Guru Dev, he may quote. Also, Maharaj, you alluded earlier to the, to the idea of the family, the Krishna family, the family of Gaur. And contrary to some, some opinions, that was also the direction that uh, Srila Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj spoke and gave. Many times you hear different opinions about what he was, what he intended, but I can bring up a couple of instances which were very, which are very enlightening and which many times we don't hear about. Srila uh, Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj had a very interesting letter exchange that I recall in which he was asked by God Brothers in India for cooperation. And his response that he would be the first to cooperate. And those of you who know the letter exchange, then he said, but maybe we have some difference of opinion about Guru. And then uh, almost in the same breath, same letter, same sentence, he caught himself and said, but I don't wish to discuss these things while we have a chance for cooperation. So he was willing to put the differences of opinion behind in order to... But I want to disturb you. Hmm. He wrote a letter to our Guru Dev and myself also. Guru Dev also responded very soon and he gave a sponsorship letter or what letter I don't know that he is one of the devotees of Gauriya Vedan Samiti and he has come for, from our society. And I helped so much. He wanted to, that all should cooperate. <coughs> it may be that all were not cooperating. But I think that all were happy that he is preaching everywhere. Some may be like third card class bogus person who are uh, not admiring him. But all the senior, sincere devotees must have so much favor for him that he is preaching here and there. We could not know what he is doing. Go on. Hare Krishna. So, um, that, with a careful study, that comes to be the prominent feature of Prabhupada's teaching. Sometimes he qualified here and there, but with careful studying, he was always pushing for cooperation between all branches of the family. And even so much, another letter exchange, some of you may know, in the, in, when he first came to America, he wrote to God Brothers, and one thing he said was, if you can help me make a temple here in New York, this was before anything, then this will be your temple, as if like you will be the temple president 
And he said, and I'll be your temple commander. So his willingness to cooperate and to involve everybody in the Chaitanya family was in fact the prominent part of his teaching. And some details elsewhere sometimes have disturbed us, but the fact is the prominent thing is that. And uh, also, guru means the essence, the essence of his teaching. There may be so many relative things according to time and place, but what is the essence, the absolute part of his teaching? And <clears throat> in this case, with uh, Srila Prabhupada Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, his, his essence is shared by so many others. I know myself for so many years trying to struggle and to maintain some devotional clarity and always keeping some kind of standard always sort of remaining in the ballpark, but at the same time losing the, the uh, intense inspiration and taste for the instructions of Gurudev. So he told me, he told everybody, he chant the 16 rounds of Maha Mantra, and you always have Krishna Kirtan, always have Krishna Katha, always try to spread the Krishna Consciousness Movement, always associate Sadhu Sangha, always offer everything to Krishna. The basic things, which are the principles, the pillars of Gaudiya Vaishnavism for forever. He, oh, he, so he pushed these and pushed them toward us. And sometimes when my personal enthusiasm was waning, I thought, if somehow or other I can follow these things more intensely, if I can become a little more sincere to follow these things, it would be so pleasing to my Guru Maharaj. Then some other Vaishnava comes, and his pravachan or his encouragement helps me to do all those very things. More chanting of Harinam, more Krishna Katha, more Sadhu Sangha, more prachar, more everything that Prabhupada told me to do. Some other Vaishnava comes and helps me do all those things and I reject some other Vaishnava? That do doesn't make sense because the encouragement is toward the same thing that my Diksha Guru gave me. So those Vaishnavas who helped me toward all the things that my Guru Maharaj wanted from me, they be they're my Siksha teachers, guru. So I know Prabhupada would be happy that we're glorifying Srila Narayan Maharaj here tonight because he is helping us to go in the direction that we all know Prabhupada wanted of us anyway. So that's all I have to say except to thank Narayan Maharaj deeply. And he knows he's helped me and my family, especially my wife. <laughs> and uh, I pray that the preaching will go on and that I can help in some small way. Hare Krishna. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And we should all serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Radha Krishna. When he came, he came to Western countries having no farthing, no Indian pressure, one pressure. Nothing. Only worn and torn, only Gita book. His three volumes of Srimad Bhagavatam. And other books I sent from India. I sent him so many kartals, so many deities, peda, peda and all other things, tulsi mala, 
have written I sent him. Also details. And he wrote me more than 200 letters time to time. I gave it to Satsarup Maharaj, published. Some of them, the essence of them has been <coughs> given. He used to so much do mercy upon me. He wanted to engage me always in Krishna service, in Guru service. So I know him like personally. So personally. He gave me such good services. He was loving me from heart of God, I know. And that is why he gave the very secret <coughs> services. He never gave to his any disciple nor his God brothers. I was not so much qualified, but so much affection for him and my all Guru Parampara, Thai Mahar Guru. He know, knew, he used to know that. He is very one of our disciples of Krishna, Srila Krishna Maharaj. So he used to love from beginning. I have so much chance to be with him. So I know his heart also. He told me to help his disciples. At the last day, he took his hands, my hands, in my hand took. And that is why I decided that I must go to the places where he has gone and he has preached. Now something waterless there is the devotees drying like water, lacking of water. <coughs> so I came to western countries and now I came here. I am very fortunate to see that all devotees concerned are coming to me. So without cost and creed, I want to give the same water, same love and affection, same all these things. <coughs> so I want to create that very situation when he came and all that inspired. So now I'm requesting uh, Shamrani Chapula. She is so senior disciple of Swamiji. He has preached, she has preached everywhere. She is very qualified. I want that even I am not coming, she should come. And being the representative of Swamiji, myself, and Krishna and Gaurachandra, he should preach also. I think that you are so much qualified person. So with a great enthusiasm, you should again be like in the time of Swamiji as we are. Sometimes you may come to India also for her class of associations. Don't think that we are in any cost and creed and party and this group. So you should tell something. Charitamrita. Eku pe ramanda bamite konya bhagyavana jeev. Guru Krishna prasade pai bhakti lata vij. After wandering throughout millions of universes for millions of births, a very fortunate person gets the seed of bhakti from a bona fide guru. And by the grace of that guru, he gets Krishna. 
So what does it mean, a fortunate jeev? Does that mean that somebody's just lucky and somebody's unlucky? And it's all haphazard and by chance? Srila Narayan Maharaj gives a very beautiful explanation of this verse in his book, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Bindhu, which is a translation and commentary on the commentary of Viswanath Chakravarti Thakur of Srila Rupa Goswami's Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And this book is a sequel to Srila Prabhupada's Nectar of Devotion. Generally, we read in Prabhupada's books the list of stages from beginning to end of bhakti. Ado shradha, tato saru sangha, tato bhajana kriya. First, there's some faith that what is this Krishna consciousness movement? Let me come and sit down. Ado shradha, tato saru sangha. Then I associate with elevated devotees, and out of those, I select one as my spiritual master and perform regulated devotional service under his direction, bhajana kriya. Then, by following those instructions, I become free from anartas or impediments to bhakti impediments from past sinful activities, impediments from past pious activities, impediments due to offenses, impediments due to improper execution of bhakti. Then I develop some steadiness called nista. Then I develop some taste. Then that taste turns into attachment not only, just like now, I may have some attachment for service or for bhajan, but at the stage of attachment or asakti, I develop attachment for Krishna as a person, as natural as a boy for a girl or a girl for a boy. And then comes bhava bhakti or emotional ecstasy in relation to Krishna, and then pure Krishna prema, when one enters into the pastimes of Krishna and serves there. So generally we hear that these are the development of stages, beginning with Ado Shraddha and second Sadhu Sangha. But actually, Maharaj explains from Viswanath Chakrabarti Thakur that actually there's a stage very special stage, very long stage, that's, what do you call it when something's compressed into one word, ado, ado shradha, first, ado means first. So ado, before shradha comes saru sangha, then comes shradha, and then again comes saru sangha. So this fits with the original verse Ekupe Brahmanda Bhumite Konya Bhagyavana Jeev Guru Krishna Pushade Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. That is, after wandering through many, many universes, in many, many births, the fortunate soul gets the seed of bhakti from a bona fide guru. So how do these two fit? After many, many births of being so fortunate as to have had Sadhu Sangha, the association of pure devotees in different universes, and followed Akadasi, perhaps not with any knowledge or not with any realization, visiting temples, taking prasadam, visiting the holy places like Vrindavan and Navadweep. By many, many lakhs of births of these, one gets the these are called sukritis or sanskaras. Sanskar means impression on the heart. Just like somebody off the street may come in uh, on Janmastami accidentally, so-called accidentally, and celebrate Krishna's birthday. So this makes an impression on his heart. As 
Srila Maharaj was saying yesterday night or the night before, suppose, oh, it was in the other, it was in Devendranath's house, that suppose somebody has a Kanistha Adhikari guru, not very qualified guru, but he's practicing some sort of relation to bhakti. So he's getting some impressions on his heart about bhakti, and this may give him the appreciation or desire in his next birth to take or look for a bona fide guru and at that time in his next birth get the actual seed of bhakti. Because if one does not have a bona fide guru of the qualities that Maharaj mentioned from the Shastra that is freed from all material desires, not experiencing any sorrows or suffering, full realization of Krishna and full knowledge of all the Shastras. He can answer any question about any Shastra and convert others to Vaishnavism. So unless one has a guru on that level, even he may execute everything that looks like bhakti, attending Mangal Artik or chanting, he's not doesn't have actually the seed of bhakti in his heart. But he may get good sanskars and good sukritis so that in a future life he'll develop this urge for a bona fide spiritual master and begin his sadhana bhakti at that point. So this ekupe brahmanda bomite konya bhagyavana jeev. Bhagyavan, fortunate jeev, is after many, many millions of births. I remember Srila Maharaj gave one lecture in Navadweep, perhaps it was at the yoga pit um, in Navadweep, and he said, you have all come here, not by accident or chance or very easily, but after so many millions of births of performing good activities and devotional activities, and sukutis means there are two kinds of good activities, su karya and su kriti. Su karya means good material pious activities like opening of hospitals or giving in charity to a poor person. If one does many, many billions of such activities, he doesn't get bhakti. But by performing sukritis, that is devotional activities, knowingly but without devotion or without realization, or even unknowingly, these create impressions on his heart so that at a certain point he develops an urge for a truly qualified spiritual master and at that point he gets the seed of bhakti. What is the seed of bhakti? What is this shraddha? It's the actual desire to serve Krishna. And that desire is in the beginning, in seed, and on one hand, the guru gives the seed of bhakti because he's like a gardener. On the other side, the seed of bhakti is already in us. Srila Maharaj gave one example from Chaitanya Charitamrita um, that in the ocean, there are, what are those animals that get pearls? Oysters. 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 Hmm? Oysters. Oysters. Oyster in the oyster shell. So at a certain time, uh, during a certain nakshatra or uh, arrangement of stars, um, Swati nakshatra? Hmm? Swati nakshatra. Uh, when the rain comes, the rain comes down into the ocean and falls into this oyster in the oyster shell, and by that, a pearl comes into the oyster. So a pearl, if a pearl lands on a dog, or if a pearl lands on a starfish, it won't produce the pearl, but it does with the oyster, because the oyster has the potency within it. Or a serpent, by that rain, will get a jewel on his head. So according to the particular potency, which is inherent in the jiva, the potential, the particular relationship, mellow relationship, any of five, that we have with Krishna, that seed is there eternally in us. Everyone is Nitya Krishna Das. 
So that seed is eternally in us. But the bona fide spiritual master is like a gardener. This is a very beautiful tropical area, so I'm sure most of you, many of you perhaps know about gardening. Mm. And a good gardener can look at a seed and tell exactly what kind of plant is going to come out. So a qualified spiritual master can look at any of us, even though we're in the conditioned state and totally covered by anartas, offenses, sins, lust, anger, greed, pride, and so many things, and tell exactly what our spiritual body looks like and exactly what services we have to Krishna. Also, he plants the seed of bhakti means that he gives the desire to serve Krishna and by his watering, as Maharaj said, he's giving the same water that Srila Prabhupada gave and is still giving. So by that water, he's watering the seeds. As Srila Maharaj explained in the West, he found that um, Srila Prabhupada's disciples and followers were so sincere, but Prabhupada planted so many seeds, and now, 77, in 96 he came, and 20 years later, some of the seeds were still seeds, some of the seeds were sprouts, and some of the seeds were little plants, but they were all shriveled up and dried up. So he came to give the water, the same water, he took the water from Prabhupada to pour on the shriveled up little plants, sprouts, and seeds to nourish them by bona fide harikata and make that seed or plant grow and grow luxuriously so that it goes beyond all the coverings of the universe and develops fruits and flowers at the lotus feet of Krishna in Goloka Vrindavan and develops a full-fledged spiritual body. So the gardener can look at the seed and see what kind of plant it is and nourish that plant to its full, um, full bloom. So it's only after many, many millions of births of good sukritis and sanskars that we're all here tonight having darshan with Srila Narayan Maharaj. Devendra. He's here. Devendra is here. Yes. He's here. He's here. Oh, here. So much indebted <coughs> that he dragged me here. <laughs> they helped me by money and all other things. In, in <coughs> but he, he dragged me. Oh, you should come to Australia. And I will around you and all the hope. And that's what he did. So I cannot repay him. He cannot repay him. So I request him that it may be that we we can do some anything against his wish or anything. But he should be. So tolerate to Nadavi Sunich. I know that he will do. And always cooperate and always encourage me to. As he has brought me with so many devotees, he will always encourage me to preach here and there. And always mm. help me. After some time, in our last days, we will go again there and we will be there as we were there. Very so, well. <coughs> Oma Gyanta Medandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jaina Tasma Shri Gurve Namaha Vancha Kopa Tribhascha Kripa Sindhubhyevacha Patita Anam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha I always get a little nervous when I have to address a, a large audience of learned devotees, sincere devotees, so uh, you'll be patient with me, I hope. Um, Despite years of effort, I can only share a few thoughts with you regarding spiritual ideas tonight. I'm not a great uh, scholar, um, but I will 
<coughs> put forth just a couple of, of thoughts on the occasion. And if you find some value, then maybe you can overlook the incompleteness of my thoughts or whatever faults are there. If we think about today, I was thinking, what, what way can we sum up the essence of the day? And um, the thought that came to my mind is, um, what is love? Is love a, an aesthetic idea? Is it a state of being? Um, is it some kind of human condition? How do we know what is love and how do we find out some experience of love in our lives? I've heard Maharaj speak that if we cannot love someone here in our practical dealings in the material world, how can we expect to develop our love for Sri Krishna and <clears throat> Sri Krishna's very special devotees. I also remember Srila Prabhupada on a number of occasions saying that the best example of love in the material world is the love of the mother. And uh, when I heard that, of course, I was a young brahmachari and um, the idea of even recognizing how a woman could have the highest embodiment of love in the material world was anathema to <laughs> the state of mind that I had at the time. But having passed through many trials of life and different changes, I think as most of you here have, uh, have gone through, um, I've witnessed the love of a mother and um, just to give some idea, which I think has great symbolism, it begins at birth and the inconveniences that a woman tolerates in carrying the child. It's very heavy, so many changes in the body, so much pain, a great deal of pain, I don't know how many of you have been there for the, uh, for the event, but it's um, quite shocking actually. I was there uh, the first time that I experienced it, I almost passed out. <laughs> and I said, here it is, and uh, after about 36 hours of struggle. Um, that's just the beginning. Uh, then there's about six months of absolutely sleepless existence. Um, so many feedings, what is it, six, eight times at least a day? Um, stool, <laughs> lots of it. <laughs> Try to keep clean, you take a bath, you put on nice sari, vomit. <laughs> it's very, very difficult. And it doesn't end in one day. There's no way out. There's no vacation. Uh, let me just put this job on hold while I take a break, and I'll see you in a couple of months. <clears throat> Men get away with a lot, you know. They, they can just kind of skip out, go to the beach when it gets tough, you know. But the mother has to always be there. And it's years and years and years of trial, giving, 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 breastfeeding, baby bites, it's painful, no thanks, only asking, 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 and asking more. So the next question that came to my mind is, is love comfortable? I think love is not comfortable. I think love is very uncomfortable. And I think love means sacrifice. The same kind of giving that a mother <coughs> gives to the child. 
Of course, these are mundane examples, but they're very good examples. And when I think of them, I think of the love of my Guru Maharaj. He was a very proper person, born in a proper family, was a gentleman. He knew how to treat people and how to be treated. He was a business person at first, giving everything as much as possible in spiritual life, conducting his business very carefully. So he was a great person of character. Even from a mundane point of view, anyone who met him could not help but be taken by his arresting, gentlemanly behavior. At a very old age, <clears throat> he suffered, as everyone knows. The story's been so, so, told so many times, it's so familiar. But let's put ourselves in that situation. Has anyone here suffered a heart attack? Anyone? Okay, so it might be difficult to put ourselves in his situation. Has anyone traveled on a boat in a storm across the Atlantic, in a little box in a boat, cargo boat? One. Very difficult. Two heart attacks. <clears throat> Coming to an unknown country. I've gone to an unknown, I've gone to a new country as an unknown person. Very challenging. Some of you here I know have done the same. You feel very lonely, don't you? Very uh, much at a loss. <clears throat> and he came with aspirations to help people and preach to very special people, gentlemen, like his Guru Maharaj requested. And um, in the end, he had to stand in line for the shower as the hippies and drug addicts and flotsam and jetsam of the 1960s elbowed past him to gain that valuable shower resource in the morning. <clears throat> stand in line, Swamiji. <clears throat> it's hard to describe. All we can do is think of so many examples. So he took great pains. He made great sacrifices. And I think that if I think of today, <clears throat> I think of the generosity of his heart, and I think of the generosity of great devotees who make their way to us and take so many pains and so many inconveniences and suffer so many insults, <coughs> so many neglects, in order to help us. They're selfless, and they're simply trying to bring the beloved back in connection with the, the lover, Sri Krishna and his jivas. So those are my thoughts, some of my thoughts for the day. I would say, I would ask myself, how much, how much am I sacrificing? How much inconvenience? How much vomit and stool and crying and sleeplessness am I taking on in my dealings with other people to serve my Guru Maharaj? And I wouldn't ask you to say, think the same thing, but it seems a worthy thought. Because I feel that love is generous and generosity is seva. And to sum up, I feel that Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj, once again, thanks Krishna, has come to remind us what sacrifice is, 
and giving is and care. The mother doesn't need to really get anything back from the child, but just wants to see the child grow and develop into something nice. I feel that from him. I feel that he cares about how we grow and how we develop so that we can become nice, mature, spiritual people in Gurudev's service. Because it's in bondage. So any good disciple may forget his mother's all these piteous activities towards us. Even we know in a scripture, Srimad Bhagavatam, and all others, that uh, mother cannot give as a chaste wife can give. Solely. His body, her body also gives. But even remembering the mercy of Gurudev, all forgets everything. Why? No selfishness there. Only mercy and mercy is there. Not to gain anything from disciples. Those who want to gain something, really they are not authentic group. Never, never they can. <coughs> Swamiji came, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, all his associates came, only to give. Samarpayitum unvatal udjala samsi. I will explain <coughs> this is look tomorrow. So they can give affection and love, pure affection and love that in comparison to that worldly all affection and love become so insignificant. Hmm? Insignificant. Chaitanya insignificant. <coughs> Mahaprabhu left his wife and mothers. They were weeping so much, but he left. You know Sukhdev Goswami, you know Narad Goswami, oh. Only this mother, father, friends and wives, affection to child, friend and husband or beloved. Only shadow of that, <coughs> If there is so much affection, attraction in all these things, in shadow, then how it we in Krishna? That is why when Krishna used to play on floors with cow herd, why with so many lakhs and cows going here and there? Even deers, even bees, wild beasts, he just to follow him. Even at the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was going to Vrindavan, tigers, 
elephants, mad elephants, lions, she goats, deer, coming in one row, here and there, following Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, seeing the face of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, hearing the beautiful song of Krishna, 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 He, Krishna Kesav, Krishna Kesav, Krishna Kesav, Krishna Kesav, Pahima, Ram Raghav, Ram Raghav, Ram Raghav. So this all have come only to bestow this pure affection for Krishna. So Swamiji has come to meet this unalvayed devotion of Krishna to anyone who was coming in front of him. So we should try to again walk up and as we are inspired at that time, all the we should again be like so that he will see, he see, he is he, here. He is seeing, he is everywhere. Mahaprabhu is everywhere. Nityananda Prabhu is everywhere. Hmm? So he is watching, looking at us. And if he will see that again they are doing like so, he will be very, very much glad and happy. I request Prabhu to speak something. I am so much happy to hear all Vidhara Prabhu and all others. So today is a very, very joyous day for me. I was in Australia for many years and then I left to spend some time in Vrindavan Dam and today uh, I feel so much that Sri Vrindavan Dam is manifesting in front of our eyes with the grace of His Holiness Srila Narayan Maharaj. So I'm so grateful that this uh, he could come on this voyage to here and bless us with his heartly blessings which he is munificently bestowing. Um, he asked us previously to glorify A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. I never met Srila Prabhupada but I took his instructions to as much to heart as I knew how to and at a certain stage I also imbibed the instructions of His Holiness Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Swami and this I felt took me to another stage but still uh, the seed had not been lodged within my heart in Sri Vrindavan Dham I was endeavoring um, externally trying to catch up what is Radha Dasyam, what is service to Guru, how to perform devotional service to Srimati Radhika. But nothing was moving within me until um, His Holiness Srila Narayan Maharaj blessed me with His mercy to understand the inner, a little fragment of the inner truths of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's descent. So without this um, direct association in the pure line from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we have utterly no hope, in fact. And as has been spoken many times in the last few days, the rarity of this uh, opportunity has been expressed. Srila Narayan Maharaj was saying yesterday, he was talking about a day of Lord Brahma, the different yugas, how in the 28th uh, Manvantari, 8th Manvantari, 28th yuga, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Vyasadeva actually manifest at this time. And the rarity of uh, 
that Krishna Prem, love for Krishna. In this samsara ocean that we are stuck in, there is a tiny, tiny little door out. And only Guru can pull us through here with affection for Krishna. And Srila Narayana Maharaj was just a few minutes ago, and uh, Buddhara Prabhu were expressing sentiments of affection. And many times when I sh see Srila Narayana Maharaj talking about his affection for Krishna, he seems to embody to me that affection itself. So he is encouraging us to have that affectionate relationship with himself to approach Lord Krishna with uh, that clearness of heart and love which only uh, such an exalted personality can truly show us. I was thinking today that Srila Narayan Maharaj, he began when he first sat down this evening uh, mentioning his many other disciples and well-wishers around the world who today would be um, feeling great separation that he is not with them. And I remember so many occasions in Keshava Jigodiamat and Rup Sanatan, uh, Mandir in Vrindavan, how so many thousands and thousands and thousands of Brijbasis, Maturavasis, Delhi Wallas, so many people would come and offer their most heartly um, well wishes to Srila Narayan Maharaj. So um, I was remembering this and appreciating how he has come to visit us at this particular time and uh, give his blessings to us to catch up this mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and to become re-inspired in the sadhya to keep the vision of these activities in devotional service. Many years perhaps we perform the activities not being fully aware of the goal, the sadhya. And Srila Narayan Maharaj has mentioned many times in the last few days to focus on Radha and Krishna's pastimes, to focus on Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's leelas and uh, his associates, and to capture this mood of service and affection to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his associates, Sri Krishna, Radharani. Today Maharaj was talking about the uh, Dhammadharastikam pastimes with such beauty and wonder that it can only, uh, it must melt the hearts of the stone-like uh, unfortunate people living in the Western worlds. That he has come here to melt us and uh, I'm just eternally grateful for that. that I'm giving something to devotees. Now I request Devendra Prabhu. He has also served Swamiji Bhakti Vedas. So he will speak some words. <coughs> today. I've been going through a lot. But I know that Guru Dave has been talking to me, to my heart all day. <clears throat> so I want to apologize, <clears throat> first of all, for the offenses I've caused to all the devotees and to your divine grace. <laughs> In Mathura, 
Srila Gurudev told me in the room two things to meditate on for me, Anibalashita Shunyam and Trinarapi. And I had to stretch it very hard today. <laughs> really stretch it. <clears throat> Anyways, my own and my own heart, I was fortunate to spend some time with Srila Prabhupada and travel. And the word Dandavat has a certain meaning that you give your full heart. There's no taking back. You completely give your heart to such a person. And the feelings that I have, this is a very personal thing, for Srila Prabhupada, I share that same feeling, if not stronger, or as strong, for Srila Gurudev. It's hard to express in the heart. But anyways, I wrote a poem. I'd like to <clears throat> offer it to you. To Srila Gurudev, Radha Krishna's most intimate friend. O Srila Gurudev, the honey dripping from your lotus feet, like from the mouth of a bee, I fall at your feet, you who resemble a desired tree. So close a friend you were to Srila Prabhupada, my holy master, his divine grace. More than bosom friends, so loving you would warmly embrace. It was predicted by the Mahajan, Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur, from all over the world, devotees would gather at Mayapur. Exactly like Srila Prabhupada in a Vaishnava family, you did stay, as his father, Gaur Mohande, would earnestly pray, O holy men, O sadhus, my son do bless. To become a servant of Radharani was his address. Your guru you met also by her grace, a ray of Vishnu, his divine grace. Your guru Maharaj and Swami Maharaj were so pure, both very dear to Saraswati Thakur. That fearless preacher, Sri Dayita Das, named his disciple Abhay Charan Das. Engaged in kirtan and bhajan to Sri Hari, he named your beloved guru, Sri Binod Bihari Brahmachari. By serving you, we actually come alive. To thou lotus feet, I will always strive. Like Srila Prabhupada, you shower your mercy to all, low or high as he was a Shaktavish avatar, an expansion of Sri Nittai. You, you distribute Gauranga's teachings, which make perfect sense, and you said we will get Premanam if we chant without offense. It is at Sri Radha Kund, the most intimate place, that you hold dearest to your heart, which you embrace. As I watch and listen to you, though I am so lame, I see Srila Prabhupada in you. You both are the same. On Jamastami day, Sri Radha called her most intimate friend, saying, tomorrow on earth you will descend. You also accepted Srila Prabhupada as your spiritual guide. I pray to you, Guru Dev, to help me get rid of my pride. By attachment to Guru, all will be known. In my heart you have entered that seed you have sown. At Sri Radha Damodar, his bhajan, Srila Prabhupada, would perform Starting a world movement, he would reform. There he lives eternally within his rooms, where Radha Padaseva blossoms and blooms. You held him so much to spread Mahaprabhu's mission, because both of you share the same vision. If Sri Radha is pleased, our, fo our fortune will thrive. Srila Prabhupada said, she asked me to preach. Pray to Radhika, and you will definitely survive. Why can't everyone understand how much you really want to help your soft, loving heart, that you continue to help as you did from the very start? You are giving us orphans some hope. You are the world's spiritual mentor. And by properly hearing, Sri Nam, Mahaprabhu, Sri Rupsnatan, and Raghunath will enter. In my heart, my eternal dandavats to Sri Radha I make, staying sometimes in Vrindavan, Govardhan, or Sri Radha's lake. In Kartik, Sri Radha's months so sweet, your beloved Guru Dev, enter Nichilila, but we hold on to your feet. On our own merits, we will certainly wither, our hopes will die. So in our hearts to Krishna, we must fervently cry. Srila Guru Dev, savior of the world, for that you lit a lamp and gave us a place to reside at Govardhan and Sri Radhika's camp. Srila Guru Dev, you demonstrate how material existence is full of strife I pray for that day when to you I fully dedicate my life. In a distant lifetime, for that I yearn, for that I pray, when my life can actually be yours in total someday. 
You are very dear to Sri Krishna and Sri Mati Radharani, and to the world you speak pure Gauravani. It is only on your mercy, which is my life, on that I draw. You live Gauranga's precepts to be more humbler than a straw. This humble servant of your divine grace shall sing of your glories in every place. Though still on the ways of ignorance, I restlessly toss, forever I will call out to you, weeps the Vedranath Das. I request him because he was <coughs> serving Swami Ji <coughs> from his beginning days and he was like a young. He has sacrificed everything for him and still he is serving I am also debted to him, he is helping me. <coughs> Uma gina timinandasya gina gina sadakaya chakshuru militami na tajma shivarave na manchika patrubhyas cha kripasin viviva cha patitana bhavane vyo vaishna vyo namunamaha I feel so fortunate to be here today. <clears throat> there are so many places one could be, but to be here is it's like heaven. <laughs> I feel it's like the beginning of a divine festival that you never want to end. And uh, by the way, uh, I, at this time I want to invite everyone to our house. And maybe in sometime in May we'll send uh, flyers to everyone to come because we're going to have a, another festival like this in uh, May or June of this year, and Maharaj will be there. This is, in, <laughs> this is in Badger, California, and we'll <laughs> send this. Uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, describe the circumstances surrounding Maharaj's visit to my house. Actually, there was a, it was amazing. I was a couple weeks before he came, or some, something like this, and I was walking around the corner of my house, and uh, a thought came to me that some saintly person is going to come to my house. And uh, I was just, just a thought, and I thought, well, this is interesting. I've been lamely practicing Krishna consciousness, superficially practicing with trying to keep it alive with my god brothers in Badger, and uh, so at any rate, uh, I heard some devotees speaking that one Srila Narayan Maharaj was coming to Badger. And uh, <clears throat> I thought, oh, this is interesting, you know. And uh, then uh, I heard some devotees speaking that uh, he cannot stay in my house, as the landlord does not want him to stay. And so I said, well, he can stay in my house. And they says, oh, he can. And I said, oh, yes, it'll be nice. And then I... <laughs> Time went by, and actually uh, coming in from different quarters, I heard some positive things, some negative things. And uh, I thought, well, I, I am not going to, I'm, I invited the sadhu to my house. I'm just going to, I don't know, I'll just treat him like, a, like he's a pure devotee. That, that is how I'll, I'll, I'll go about this. Mm -hmm. And um, Shilinraya Maharaj came to our house, and. I was uh, so amazed. A uh, few days, day after day, it, it went on and it got simply sweeter and sweeter, just like Krishna consciousness. And um, I was realizing it is something like the Bhagavad Gita. If you approach it in a humble way, in a submissive way, then some message can come and you will understand something about Bhagavad Gita. So in the same way, by taking this stance, I figured I'll, I'll accept him as a pure devotee. And then I'll be able to see, at least I'll be able to see what he really is. By, in the end, I'll be able to make a good decision. And uh, actually, uh, 
I have still not been able to estimate my good fortune. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's, it's, we're all, I'm hearing so many wonderful things and I'm most unqualified, but I, I, uh, Srila Prabhupada, he could encourage us uh, by just his glance, by his uh, few words, he would encourage us so much. And this is the same quality I find in Srila Narayan Maharaj, that by uh, his association, we are f feeling so much encouraged in our spiritual life. Encouraged to go on and uh, develop our, de our Krishna consciousness. Uh, so, uh, I simply offer my own respects and humble obeisances to everybody, and I thank you for allowing me to, hear, to be here with you. Hare Krishna. <laughs>
Pandit Dronacharya went jungle with his disciples, including Arjun, and there was dog with them, with their party. He was, it was barking. Then so many arrows came, and foolish mouth with no crutches, no blood, nothing else. They became surprised. Who is that archery? Archer. We know so good archery that no blood came and dog could not barking. What happened? Then they followed dog and they saw that one very black person sitting there. Dronacharya asked him, What are you doing here? From where? How? From whom you are learn all these things? He told, Oh Gurudev, I am your humble disciple. <coughs> then he told, If you my disciple, then you have to Guru Dakshina. Yes, Gurudev, what you want, I can give you immediate. Then Dunacharya take his thumb as a Guru Dakshina. Why? Then he could not shoot his arrows as, as, as well as before. So what is his destination? He was opposed to Arjun, opposed to Krishna. So in the battle of Mahabharata, he killed by Krishna's Sudarshan Chakra. Destination? That Brahmalok, not more than that. And today is whose day, appearance day, Srila Gurudev appearance day. Why, how he service Gurudev? I want to say something. When he joined in Gauri Vedan Samiti, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj, beloved disciple of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, he surrendered himself in the lotus feet of his own Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj, and tried to serve his best. What he want, he want to try, he try to fulfill his desire in every respect. When Srila Maharaj used to cook for Param Gurudev, Param Gurudev taking prasad, can understand that Srila Maharaj cooked this for him. And our Param Gurudev was so fond of Srila Gurudev's cooking. He knows who is cooking, only taking, oh, this is his cooking. He can, Param Gurudev can understand. So he, Surrender himself with heart and soul and serve him at his best. So, what is his destination? You can know, you know everything. I don't want to bother you. That, so I am telling that Krishna said, Tomar, Krishna dite para, Tomara sakati ache, Amita kangal, Krishna, Krishna bali, dhai tava pache pache. That is service Gurudev. That is destination, the best destination for Jivas. That Mahaprabhu came in this world that Samarapaitu Munnata Jalara Sang Savakti Sriyam. Guru Dev is explaining for a few days that Mahaprabhu came in this world not to distribute Unnata Jalara what you want to test. That means Radhaya Pranaya Mohima, Kidrisovana Yiva Saddho Janadhuta Madhurima, Kidrisova Madhya, Sokhan Chasamadanu Vata Kidrisang Veti Lohat, Tadhavadda Samajani Sajigar Vasindha Uharindu. He want to fulfill these three desires, Krishna. So he came in form of Mahaprabhu, taking the beauty and mood of Srimadhi Radha Thakurani. He came in this world. He can distribute this Unnata Jalras. What he want to distribute? Rasang Sabhakti Sriyam. The beauty of Unnata Jalras, this is also Unnata Jalras. But Mahaprabhu came to distribute this. And what you want to taste, he can distribute this. Sri Lakrishna Kaviraj Goswami mercifully quoted in his Chaitana Chaitamritam that Premaras Nirjas Korite Asadan Ragmarga Bhakti Loke Korite Pracharan. That he want to taste the essence of Premaras and want to distribute Ragmarga Bhakti. How one jeev can achieve, can go through Ragmarga. So Sila Maharaj, Sila Gurudev came in this world for this thing, to distributing Rasang, Savakti, Sriyam. He established in this and is so merciful, Karunaya Vidravan Deha. He is thinking, oh, I am testing so good thing. Oh, they are suffering. Oh, why I cannot help them? If I help, and they can test these very good things. 
So, being cashless mercy, being cashless merciful, he came in this country and want to distribute all these things. <coughs> None, uh, just like as before, you know, Sila Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur distribute all these things, and he have to oppose so many facing so many opposite things. In the same, in this period also, Maharaj mercifully want to distribute all these things, but he have to oppose. Uh, he have to facing also so many opposite things. Yet he is determined. No, I shall distribute all these things which I am testing. Just like Sir Rupa Swami is telling in his Bhakti Rasamit Sindhu. Seva sadhaka rupena siddha rupena chatrahi tadbhava lipsana karja praja loka anusarata that he is serving just like Rupa Goswami Pad, serving Mahaprabhu and same time divine couple where is jathavastit deha that means in sadhak form he is serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and preaching and is on his own form that means in the servitor of a divine couple is serving divine couple. So his destination as a maid servant of Srimati Radha Thakurani. So Srila Gurudev want that we should be one day that maid servant of Srimati Radha Thakurani. This is the best goal of Jeevas in this planet. Nothing more than this. So Gurudev Marsuri distributed all these things. I am praying him his lotus feet, lotus feet also. He is serving his Gurudev. I want to serve him, he serve him same mood. And I pray him that one day I will be your, in the same way in which mood you are serving Mahaprabhu and Divine Kapil. You not touch stone. If you touch any iron, they transfer to gold. gold. But who is Vaishnava, is qualified Gurudev, they never do so. There is one chopa in Hindi that Paras or Santame Vises Antarjan Paras Sona Loha Kare Santa Kare Apsaman. That means if you touch iron with gold, uh, touch stone, it transfers into gold. But who is bona fide Gurudev in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he never do so. He who come in his touch, he transfer them like him. He, just like a bona fide Gurudev, make all devotee guru, not to disciple. Apsaman means like him. So I am praying him from my core of my heart that please be best to your mercy, then I can serve you just like you are serving your Gurudev, Hare Krishna. Bancha, Kalvataru, Bhaschakripa, Sindhu, Bhaya, Vacha, Paridha, Nankabhani, Bhogosan, 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 Bhogosan,